ESP Easy MQTT Max display. As you can see in uh, the video screens, we have a lot of displays. Uh, three above are temperature sensors, which are connected to domotics, and the display in the blue is connected only uh, to Wi Fi to MI MQTT, and th there are no sensors on it. So, what's the idea? I have a sensor at one place, I want to display it on another place. And this is what I'm going to try to explain in this tutorial video. First of all, you need to have um, <coughs> the ESP Easy uh, display version. If you don't have the display, uh, your, dis uh, your MX7212 is not uh, supported by uh, ESP Easy. So you flash your drive. We're going to not explain how you do it. If it is flashed, you, you add it, of course, to your um, Wi-Fi. After that, it's time to configure your module. I'm going to take one of uh, these modules that I have here. As you can see, I have a lot of displays models in my uh, home. Now, for instance, we're going to do the red one from, uh, or, well, never mind. We're going to try it with this. This is a, a this device is totally ready with hardware set up, but we're going to do an overview of everything. First of all, configuration, you need to do nothing. Normally, you have your uh, names of your Wi-Fi. Controllers, of course, you have to set your uh, Domotics MQTT. Uh, this is, of course, depending on your own situation. My Domotics is on uh, this IP. You fill in the credits if you have a password and you do it like this, Domotics in, out. So everything is okay here. And the hardware, what you need to do there is here also uh, SPS interface, you must enable it. If you don't enable it, your uh, display won't work because your display used SPI. Then we have the devices. <clears throat> now here you see uh, still two display max uh, devices, but that is not working correctly. So you can use different uh, devices to um, show different types of text. But that thing is not going to work. We're going to do it with one. And we also have here one uh, Dallas temperature sensor. Perhaps we're going to create here, this one we're going to delete. And we're going to make a general, <coughs> this is for later, but we're going to create it, uh, a general MQQ, MQTT import. Of course, you give it a name. This name is important afterwards if we're gonna create some uh, data. And, and here you go, which topics do I need from an MQTT? Of course, you need to know what's in your MQTT. Therefore, you use the MQTT Explorer. And there you can see all the values that you have. But before you can have these values separated, there is, of course, as you can see on my MQTT, this temperature display and energy display. This is for my uh, homemade battery. And this is for my temperature sensors that you see on the screen right now. But before you get uh, data with only one value, you have to create um, some filters in Node Red. I'm going to show it, but normally everything is found also on my website. If you go Node Red, I hope you understand Node Red. If you don't have ever worked with Node Red, it's going to be a difficult thing. Uh, perhaps here, my temperature displays are under here. So you have your domotics, and you have here your different IDXs of the devices that you have, which send data to MQTT. For instance, here, my outdoor temperature. This uh, is on IDX 409. So you configure it. The only thing you have to do is here to add your IDX where the data is come from, from your device. After that, you have to filter it. Then you're going to filter. And then this is the way you're going to do it. You message payload and you split uh, with this signal. You split and uh, value zero you tick there from. That's uh, if we're going to try, <coughs> I don't know if I have, I have this one, if I debug it. 
then normally I'll get the value only from the outdoor temperature. It takes a while. Why? I don't know. Okay, it is deployed. When I do the current node, current flow. Okay. Oh, there's also one uh, active. You see here the temperature of my hot tub water is uh, 38 degrees. And outdoor, <clears throat> I don't see it right away, but that's no problem. The only thing you have to do, or perhaps we take the hot tub, the, which I'm sure. So the hot tub IDX is 297. That's from my domotics configuration. Then you have to filter it, your message. And then you have to put it back onto MQQT. You're going to say uh, edit MQ2 out nodes, temperature display hot tub. So every, every temperature here, I created this one, temperature display. And here I create the separate value of from which place this device is. And therefore you get on uh, your Explorer this temperature displays outside, hot tub or whatever you want. So <clears throat> these are now available at MQTT. Now we're going to back to my display. <clears throat> First, you need what is, uh, you can have a, a topic for all, but you also can just simplify when I say hot tub here. I copy disk, this, and I pass it here. Then my first MQ. The T topic that I will have available in this device is the hot tub display. For instance, I'm gonna pick a few more. I'm gonna take uh, the garden house. Just copy paste it from there. Uh, or perhaps I'm, I'm gonna also do something for my uh, energy which this is the value of my actual use at home so i'm gonna do this uh, we paste it there and i also gonna uh, put the value of injection if my solar power and my battery is full what i'm give to the net this is the same what you find here so now we have these four topics that you're gonna uh, create in this device now, what you have also, value 1, value 2, value 3, value 4. You can leave it that way, but that's going to be difficult in uh, what what value is what. So you can say, my value 1, I change it. Of course, you need these names afterwards. And I'm going to do this like this. So these are the, the four values that I'm going to try to display all my display without any connection with the sensor. This is pure MQTT data that I have right now. So this is everything is set for my MQTT. When I'm now go to devices, then I also see these are the four values that I have available at this time. On this module, there's also a Dallas standard temperature sensor connected. But uh, for one thing, I'm gonna. Uh, ah, 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 I don't know. I'll leave it on. I'll leave it on, but we're not gonna display it on the display. So, what we're gonna do here, your display, that's a kind of difficult thing. You can do here, you can say. Uh, oh, of course, you need to uh, say where your ship, ship select pin is connected to. That depends on the hardware you created sometimes. In my case, it's D8, sometimes it's D0 or D4. That's You have to check when you have uh, built your device where you connected the chip select. Afterwards, you have to hear the text. What I'm going to create, text, okay, but what text do I need? You can say hello. And when you submit it normally, oh no, I don't get it because I have, of course, here say I have a clock. If I don't have a clock, I just say a text, I submit it. And normally you see here on the third display, hello is there. 
but you know i want different taxes on one display you can create it uh different of these devices and then say repeat it every seconds or every two seconds but that is not working you can do it but then it, the one stays five seconds the other three seconds this this is not working therefore we're going to create here a variable for and uh, how are we going to do that first of all we're going to uh, work with rules and in the rules we're going to create a, a var a var a variable variable that we're going to use for uh, that we're going to use to uh, show different types styles of text now in this example i'm gonna uh, try to give you eight um eight 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 uh, values different values so and you're gonna give it a name and of course you have to oh you have four modules i'm gonna create a name of course here it is already dot matrix dot matrix hashtag uh this name is very important because this name you need to um, create in the rules so this is ready for um, the display if i do submit now normally my display stays blank if you see the third display it is blank now uh, before we're going to create rules but of course uh, the rules this if you don't see this you go to advanced you say rules enabled yes or no you enable the rules and then after you did that you get the rules now of course we're going to create some rules now i've prepared some you find also everything on the spytech.de but we're gonna i have we're just gonna copy and paste one thing here that's a simple rule set for uh eight different values to show on the display uh, this is the if you see the blue screen under that's what i use at that moment for this well, now we're going to create it on the third display so what you need to do on system boot to do you set loop timer one and with an interval every five seconds it counts one so you're going to rule the timer is one do as long as the value is underneath eight, it stays eight. Otherwise, it's going to be back reset to one. So if you want to have four values, you create make this a four, and you say, uh, for instance, then you can do delete these lines. These are the different values that we're going to connect to the variable or or dot matrix. Uh, what we're going to use in uh, the display. So we leave it at eight. So what we have here, the first thing we're not, we're not going to explain everything. Here it says uh, battery, oh, that, that's from the whole device, but dot matrix battery one MQTT value one. Uh, we're gonna look here. The first device I have is hot up. This is MQTT, so this name you need and this you need. So if you say, oh, I didn't uh, save the rules, so but I had copied MQTT, and there the value is hot up. And uh, you have to write it exactly the way that it is. Uh, wait, we're gonna save it first. So now you see a hot tub, MQPT a hot tub. This is uh, what we're gonna create. So uh, what we also can do, if you say in the rules uh, here, this is just text what comes before. Hot tub, then you have a text hot tub with afterwards the value of the uh, hot tub device. Uh, the next thing uh, is the outdoor that was here, but uh, wait, I'm gonna save it. Now, the next thing is veranda, that means a garden house. So, this we're gonna create here uh, in the rules. We say here uh, veranda. Here also said the Aranda. Well, hot up was already in the previous version here, but we're not gonna look at that. Then we have a consumption of electrics uh, electrics verbruik in Dutch. So we're gonna say the next is here not value three because we renamed it verbruik. We're gonna say verbruik. 
then afterward, well, this is uh, here. I've told if you want the, the fourth value is the system time. Time with the uh, if you have this, you get hours and minutes. If you put this one, you have system time with seconds. But then uh, never forget your display only has uh, four uh, matrices. If you have a bigger display, you can of course do whatever you want. Uh, perhaps we're gonna change this. So no, never mind. We're gonna put the time in between. No, we're gonna. Uh, we're gonna put this one next. We're gonna. Uh, so if you want to do, copy this. We copy. We paste it, and now I said the next one is uh, five. Uh, one, two, three, four. This is five, and here we're gonna say. In Action. Uh, and then we're gonna do <clears throat> uh, how are we gonna copy? And as you can see, there is still nothing to see on the display. And that's that has to do. We're gonna say it in a few minutes. Uh, action. Oh, I didn't copy that. Okay. Injexi. So this is. I'm gonna do it in Injexi. That's the name, and here is the value that we're gonna show. Injexi. This also goes away. Or we're gonna say uh, it's okay for me. We stop with four values. The other values I'm gonna do away. So we delete this, and now we're gonna say I only have four values. We normally this would work, but why is it not working yet? Because your timer is not started. Because your timer needs on boot, the timer will start. So you see the display tree here, so it's still uh, blank. But if I do a reboot, uh, hopefully we do a reboot, then we'll get normally, I hope, some text on the display or I did some mistake. That is also possible. As you can see, hot tub, but veranda, you see the, you see the display here. But now, of course, I have uh, more characters than will fit on my display. So now we can uh, do an animation on the display, on the devices. You can say, uh, let me scroll the text left or right. Or if you want to have um, a uh, value which just fits on it, you have to make it smaller that it fits on. So if you do now, I want to scroll left, but you also have to scroll it left out. And when you do that and you do a submit, normally now you get a scroll text with the values. So now you see verbruik. And now you see there's a problem. The one text is coming before the other is totally uh, displayed. So this, this means my timer is too, too fast. So I need to, uh, in the rules, change the time. This is five seconds. Perhaps if I put it on eight seconds, I do a save. Then you're going to see there is more space between each value that we have. This is the hot tub temperature. Now you see the temperature, but it's still too small, as you can see. You can uh, make it also 10 or 9 seconds. Does it change or not? Oh, of course it doesn't change because uh, the timer is uh, only set when you reboot your devices. So perhaps 10 seconds will now be uh, too too long. But we're gonna, you can uh, figure it out or play with it.
Now you see the first stack, hot up. Now you see uh, there are two dots after. Um, you see here, 36.60. You can also change this in uh, Simplify by saying, how many this do I need? So like the power consumption, that's what. So I need, don't need uh, what's behind the comma. So. And of course you can modify if you say inject some of the normally after the next. No, you see hot top is 31.6 degrees. As you can see now, my time is too long before the next. I, I can uh, do an eight seconds and do a re reboot. Okay. So now you have four data, which are not from a sensor on the hardware device by itself, but it's only data from MQTT, what's on your network or on your MQTT. So I hope this is clear. Now I'm gonna show you a little more thing about uh, Node-RED, how to create the, the simplified values. Well, we did it in, in the, the beginning. Now we got to overview it again. So you need this. You need to filter your device. You need to filter the temperature out of it. And then you have this. Uh, you find also some, uh, if you go to Spike Online, uh, spiketech.be, and you go to the section Note Red, here you also find how to easy put simplified data. Is data like this. How you can put it like this? This is some data from, uh, I think, a uh, device from uh, Tasmota. So here you can do it also. You split value one or two. That depends. You have a point, comma, and then this. Do I need the first value, the second value? You can do it here. Uh, you have also an example here. So I hope uh, you, I learned you something today and hope you enjoyed it. Comments are, all, are welcome and uh, keep up and enjoying this project. Thank you.